All right, triggering in Cubase. Triggering in Cubase is really easy. It's the most awesome thing it has. One of the most awesome things it has. Um, it's really simple. Uh, if you are trying to replace the drums with samples, the best thing you can do in Cubase is you open up the the audio, the sample editor. They call it sample sample editor editor. And they have this thing called hit points. And usually your threshold starts at zero, and it looks at everything. What you have to do is you have to eliminate to only, in this case, kick hits. It's very simple, and you just drag it until you can see that it's just triggering the kick hits. You gotta listen to it though, but all right. And then the next thing you would do is create MIDI notes, all right? Then it makes an a uh, MIDI uh, MIDI track. And uh, you have to open up one of your favorite samplers. Um, and it's set to a pitch. So I know that Easy Drummer and uh, SSD player, you know, Steven Slate, they use C1 as kick, D1 as snare, um, I think F1 is 4 tom, G1 is rack tom 2. And what is it? A, A one, which is the smaller left now. Anyway, something like that in a fixed velocity because I usually use just one shots. You know, I just want the one shots. I've already done this, so I don't have to do this. And what it does then is it creates a MIDI track down below, down here. And if you already have your sampler on it, you have now. Even slate on it. So, from my last recording, uh, you can see it. Uh, why is it not working? All right. Um, it's. Uh, I've already have my uh, my drum track mixed with the um, with some EQ on it and with some compression on it and the only thing I do now is I bring up my sampler because it's already sampled my kick and my snare so I'm going to bring up the sampler really softly and you can kind of listen what it sounds like so right around there that's where the where the sampler meets the drum really and that's an interesting interesting area. If you go over the top, you get more of the samples. Uh, if you back it down, you get more of the original drums. <laughs> yeah, that's a really nice nice blend. And the cool thing about it is if you're using a sampler, you can alter your drum sound really fast. So for instance, one of my favorites is the Chuck the Rock Kid. All right, loading. Oh yeah, so loading in Steven Slate drums takes like forever. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Or uh, how about you know the uh, uh, the Never Kit? One of my favorites. You know. Crazy stuff down here, wasn't it? Oh, right. Yeah, sure. Tone death. <laughs> yep. You can do it. There you go. You know. <laughs> Mm 
So yeah, that's how you trigger in Cubase.